Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another MTG Arena video. So today we have a nice, very nice deck just for you. We played Gruul a few weeks ago, but now we have Gruul B2, 2.0, you know? <coughs> so what's the idea? The idea is the following. We have been encountering a lot of Gruul decks in the ladder, especially now that the season started once again. So this Gruul deck is actually very good against another Gruul deck because of this great card, the Akron War, you know? You take control of one of their creatures, then you force the you force to to attack with all their creatures, and finally, each tap creature deals damage it to to itself equal to its power. In other words, you destroy most of their creatures. <coughs> Plus, if they have a gruel deck, you can take the best creature, and you can kill them with that. So. What do we have here? We have four actual innkeepers to fight prophecies, four brush fire elementals, four bone crusher giant, four Cassandu mammoth, four love track beast, four Akron war, two ox of agonas, four ember cleave, one tomb timber symbiosis, I think, two gray henge, two primal might, and then we have some lands. And in the sideboard, two fire prophecy, three wilt, two soul seer, two Clothis, God of Destiny, three Questing Beast, one Ox of Agonas, and two Vivian's Monsters Advocate. So I really would like to play this deck in best of three, but just for the content, we're going to be playing in best of one. So we're going to see what happens. We're going to see how it goes. <coughs> Okay, okay, so we have two lands, one mountain, I'm sorry, two forest, one mountain, and then Grey Henge and Embercliffe. So if we draw good creatures, this is a good hand, but I don't know what is going to happen. So I think we should Mulligan. Okay, so this is a little better. I think we can take one edge wall and keep it away. <coughs> okay. Maybe this is mono green food. Okay, so true gilded goose, he won't have any problem casting the wicked wolf. Which is going to be the play for this turn. Oh, nothing, okay. That is a surprise. Okay, so he has something with his own speed. Okay. He's just making the food. Okay, okay. We are going to attack. That's that is six damage he's going to take. And he doesn't know this. We are going we will have three five five attackers. And he can't block with a goose. Of course, he now he now has six manas. So let's see what he does. Okay, that is very good. I'm not going to lie. Mm, what should we play? Because I want to play the Grey Henge, but in order to do that. This is going to be five, so four, mm. and then we can only play the Grey Henge, which I don't think is the best. So we attack. Six damage is, I'm sorry, seven damage is seven damage. A 
an ember clip would be very nice, very nice. Okay, this can gain one life. And it's a blocker. Ay. Ah. We need Ember Cliff right fucking now. But let's see what we can do. <coughs> Too bad we can't play the Grey Hand. Scavenging Us is going to die and the Wicked Wolf is not because he can eat the food. And we didn't get the Ember Clip. <coughs> There's no need to keep playing that game. We got a little unlucky with the draws, the lands, you know, but that's okay. So let's try this once again. Bite me, 25. We go first. Okay, okay. Mm. This is not the best hand. And he is obviously... Um, uh, I'm sorry, a Dino Rogue's deck because of the Lurus. But we are going to try to make it work. Mm, yes. We go with this. Mm, the crab. How oh nice. Okay, that <laughs> that mountain was uh, was a mistake. <coughs> okay, two crabs. Very good, very nice. I'm so glad for him. Okay, so we have to pay that. Let's not forget to crack the land, you know. Okay. Ember clip. That is very, very nice. Okay, we can attack. Let's see what he does. Okay, let's just get a mountain. No lands, no lands for you. Come on. Next turn we are going to attack. Okay. He doesn't want me to draw a card. That is fine by me. This one crash of giant 
can be 10 damage. Let's see what he plays. Okay, I still don't, I still he doesn't have any land, so I think we can attack. We can safely attack. What is it? I, w I didn't play the Ember Gift on purpose because I rather play this Grey Henge to see if he has any counter spells. Okay, that is fine. So, what do we have now? Let us see. Another crab, but do you have a land to go with that crab? You don't have a land. That is so, so sad. So sad. Okay, so if he does something to the Bone Crusher Giant, he takes two. So he would be in three life. And we have the Bone Crusher Giant. So he's going to be in one, only one life. So let's see what happens. Of course, he's going to kill it. And now he can't touch the other Bone Crusher Giant because that is going to kill him and we can make a little dance you know we can send our love to him and this game is one of it's one loss one win let's equip okay that's it We had to equip because he could block with the crafts. Okay, 50% win rate. I know, I know, those rocks didn't get lands, but they got three green crafts, two Heartless Act, one Drowning Lock, one Thief's Guild Enforcer. So they don't have my sympathy, you know? I'm sorry, but they don't have it. They know what they are doing by playing that deck. Okay. So, mm, we go first. So, we can go first with Evolving Wilds. Gruul must be the only deck that uses evolving wilds maybe maybe rogues with ruin crab but not much much else okay so now we have our friend mono red but i think he's going to be entertained with this edgy boy this little innkeeper okay that was your whole turn so i don't mind now we need to play this, like that. So next turn we have Grey Henge and this is going to be 7 power. Next turn this is also going to be 7 power plus an Ember Cliff. Okay, no attack for you. We need to play this land actually. So if we attack for 16, we are not going to kill him. We need to attack this turn he can have ember clip but i don't think he's going to kill us because it's going to be this is going to be one plus six that's 13 and we are going to be at 17 and that is his whole turn and then we kill him with our ember clip torban is not going to kill us either Ok, 
Okay, so now we should win. He, if he blocks with Torbrand, that's the only way we don't win. Don't block, don't block, don't block. Yes! And we crack this, and that's it. That's game, baby. Come on. Who is the aggro now? Who is the aggro now? We are the aggro now. Okay. Nice. We are one win away from that sweet reward. Okay, we go first and we have mm, some lands. Okay, let's keep it. Against Yorion. Okay, we need to do this fast, quick, and painless. Okay, so this is a Doom for Tall Yorion deck. Let's crack this before we forget. He's not going to do anything else. So, do we play the Mammoth or the Bruce Fire Elemental? That will depend in if we get a land or, or we don't get it. Okay, so mm, he's not playing anything. Mm, we didn't get the land, so I think we should do this. Maybe he has eliminated or helped us out. And we should do this. So we have a Crown War and two Bone Crusher Giants. We are a little low in red mana, but we don't have Embercleave. Also, Grey Henge would be nice. We are two turns away from Doom for Tall. Okay. So next turn he's going to have the lands for Doom for Tall. So we need to be careful with that. Okay, so this is what we are going to do. We need the card advantage in this game. And kill them fast. If he has Shattered the Sky, at least we get a we get a card, but I think he wants to play Doom for Tall. I don't know if these decks have if these decks have a lot of Shattered Sky. Okay, so what should we do? What should we sacrifice? It's a shame we can't see what we are going to draw. I think the Giant can go, so we can draw a card. I think that is going to be more important. But actually, if we draw the Ember Cliff, mm, if we draw the Ember Cliff, mm, okay. Okay. You can't block that. So this is going to be five. And with the Akron War, we can take this. So five plus four, it's nine. So let's see what he does. But I think I'm going to sacrifice the Edge Falling Keeper, play the Fable Passage, and the Akron War. Maybe he plays Yorion. No, he can't. Golden Egg. 
he can sacrifice this for life and he would be at three life but then he would have to sacrifice the doom for soul okay so we won't play the mammoth just now So if he sacrificed the golden egg, I don't think I'm going to crack the table passage. Let's see. Okay, so should we Yes, I think I think we should take him down to three. Plus we thin out the deck. And he needs to sacrifice the Doom for Soul. And you have to deal with two creatures. Both of them can kill you. So you need two removal spells or two blockers. And if he takes down the Bone Crusher Giant with a removal spell, he's going to be in one life. We have four Ember Cliffs. We should be getting one by now, you know? If he's taking this long, that is a good sign. It means that the play is not clear. He needs to think how he can save himself. Or maybe he's just angry. Okay, so he's going to be in one life. We're going to play the Falling Keeper, just in case. Just in case. Maybe he has Dance of the Mans, he can return 4 enchantments of 4 converted mana, which means he will return all of this. Okay, now 5, but it's the same, it's only these 3, and they don't enter as a creature. Okay, there's still 2 more creatures to go. Okay. I want to see what he has in the graveyard. Nothing. We need Ember Cliff. We need Bone Crusher Giant. Come on, man. Come on. Lobstack Beast. Anything. He only has two cards in hand and he could play the Yorion. He could play the Yorion. And if he does that, he can exile one Edge Walling Keeper and kill the other one with the Elspeth's Nightmare. And I would have a 3-3. Three three. And he would have the Wall, the Skyclave Apparition, and the Yorion. Friends of the Man, sorry. Not the worst. Not the worst. We need one Bone Crusher Giant. That's all we need. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on, Bone Crusher Giant. Come on, Bone Crusher Giant. Come on, Bone Crusher Giant. Come on, baby. Come on. That's all we need. Bone Crusher Giant. 
5% chance. Come on. Actually, if he attacks with everything, and if he doesn't have any more removals, instant speed removal spells in his hand or life gain, a brush fire elemental would also kill him. Because it can be blocked with creatures with power uh, 2 or less or 3 or less. 2 or less. So the walls can't block it. Come on, attack with everything. What, what are you? What the fuck are you? Insane? Are you stupid? We need to block, otherwise we die. Come on, bone crusher giant. Bone crusher giant. Bone crusher giant. Come on, man. Bone crusher giant. We are going to discard the Great Hands because of the Doom Portal and we are going to lose two life. But that's okay. We all all we need is Bone Crusher Giant. He is not going to win any life of this. Oh yes, he's going to win two life. Oh my fucking god. And now we get the Ember Cliff. Oh my god. In one life. One fucking life. <sighs> I fucking hate when that happens. I fucking hate it. Okay, so uh, we are 50% win rate, and that game was, I think, the worst thing that ever happened in my life. It's amazing. One life. We didn't get Bonecrash Giant. We didn't get Grey Hench. I mean, when we needed, you know, Ember Cliff. We got it 75 minutes after. Okay, so this has potential. It's a shame we don't go first, but let's see what happens. Okay, so this is a Gruul. A Gruul deck, just like ours. Oh. Robert of the Rich. And he take my... Ah, my god, my fucking god. Okay, so we are going to play maybe the Mammoth, or we pay life and the Lovesack Beast, but I think the Bruce Fire Elemental plus the Mammoth, and then we Lovesack Beast plus that is good, much more. Crawling Barons, I think this is a big red deck. I think this is a big red deck, so we need, we need green, we need green no matter what. Okay, but we played it. <laughs> we played it the wrong way, man. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I lost two damage. If he if he wins by two life, oh man, that would be the worst thing. Okay, so we go like this. We need to play life. And then we go like this. Going wise. This is a nice card. We are not going to attack this turn. We are going to attack the next turn. So this is when they die. Okay, that's great. We are going to steal this lane line tyrant. And this is a Nugin deck, so we need to kill him fast. So this can be 5, 10, 11. That's okay. So yes, we are going to take the lay line, lay line of Tyrant. We are not going to take the Bone Crusher Shine. So, do we need five for anything? No, I don't think so.
Really? Maybe he doesn't want to take that much damage. Because of our next turn, we are going to be doing a lot of damage. No, I don't have. Okay, so you save yourself. Charge plus machine or fable passes? I think we crack a fable passes. Okay, so now crawling burns can be a creature. Okay. We can kill this. Let's see if he wants to trade. He doesn't. Four to him. Yes, four. Have to pay. One damage for us. And we are going to get one mountain. Uh, I'm sorry. See, si, yes, one mountain because. We don't want so many lands in our deck. We don't need them. We need the Great Hench. We need Ember Cleave. So we need to have chances of drawing them. There is now one in three cards is a land. So 66% chances we don't get a land. Enough mana is enough mana. Oh, Fear Emancipation. We need to kill him this turn. And we are going to make it like this. I think we do this and he surrenders. Maybe not. Yes, he did. It took him a little while, but he did, he did concede. So we are at 60% win rate. 60% win rate. That's not bad. And we were just one life away, one car away of being for one, 80% win rate. And that is a lot. So you should you should definitely definitely play this deck now that the season is starting. So you can actually rank up very fast, really, really fast. So I recommend it that you play it. And tomorrow we are going to be playing um let me say this Timor Ramp B2. So the evolution of Timor Ramp. So tomorrow I'm going to show it and it's going to be amazing. So Thank you for watching, subscribe if you want to support the channel and I'll see you again tomorrow. Goodbye.